Welcome to the McMaster University Residence Portal. This is the first page you'll see as you complete your application to live at 10 Bay Residence. Once you're on this page, please click the Graduate Residence link at the top. Then click Continue to proceed into the next page. In this first section, we'll be asking you about your contact details. It's important that you include your information as accurately as possible. In this first section, we'll be asking you about your preferred first name and pronouns. These are both optional boxes, but you can include this information if you would like. For example, if you have a different name you'd like to be referred to by, you can include it here. For pronouns, you can include whatever feels best for you. For example, she, her. Beneath, we'll need to include your cell phone number. If you're an international student and you have a local number, please put that here. You'll need to tick the box that you're aware that Housing and Conference Services staff may contact you at any time to discuss your housing offer or your residence accommodation request. Below, you'll need to include your emergency contact information. If you're going to be living with a spouse or partner in the building, please select someone else as your emergency contact. Click Save and Continue when this is complete. In this next section, we'll be asking you a few different questions about yourself. Right at the top, we're asking you whether you will be living in a couple or a family in 10 Bay. Graduate student couples or families are welcome to rent an entire two bedroom apartment at a discounted family rate. Please read to understand what we are considering a couple or a family. If you require housing for your family members in addition to yourself, please indicate that here. If you are interested in applying for a parking spot at 10 Bay, which please note is not included in the price of rent, indicate that here. Please indicate your gender identity. Then when you're ready, click Save and Continue. This section is for accommodations request. We want to make sure that your experience in residence is a positive one. If you or someone who will be living in your housing require a specific accommodation need, please indicate it in this section. This can include specific support for medical, disability, or religious reasons. If you think this will apply to you or your family member, read this section carefully. Professional documentation is needed in order for us to process your accommodation request. If you believe you or a family member have an accommodation request, please indicate it in the drop-down box here. At the bottom, you are required to enter your MAC ID in order to indicate that you acknowledge and understand your need for accommodation. At this point in the application, we will need you to complete a $300 deposit. This deposit is credited to your Mosaic student account and will go towards your first month rent payment. We can accept payments through Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Visa Debit. If you do not wish to go move forward with your residence application, you can click, I would like to cancel my residence application. On this page, you'll see the deposit information and the total of $300. Click Pay Now in order to proceed with payment. After you complete your payment on a separate screen, you'll see a deposit receipt. You should get confirmation of your deposit in your email, but you can also print this page for your records. Please click Continue in order to proceed with your housing application. Please click Submit and move on to the next step. In this step, we require you to upload a recent photo in order to verify you in the event you are locked out of your residence space. Please upload a recent photo that is clear, sharp, and in focus. No hats or sunglasses, please. If the photo is too large, you will get an error message at the bottom of the screen. Please make the image smaller and try re-uploading. Once your image is uploaded successfully, click I consent to Housing and Conference Services accessing the provided photos for security and verification purposes. 
click Save and Continue to proceed. The next step allows you to sort the available apartments by lease length and move-in date. Use the drop-down menu to see the different lease start and lease lengths. Pick the one you're most interested in and then click Save and Continue to see available apartments. On this screen, you'll see the relevant lease start dates and different floor plans available of the apartments. You can use the filters at the side to help you sort for the type of space you're looking for. Below, you can choose which floors of the building you're interested in living in. Once you've found an apartment you're interested in, you can show room info to learn more about the space. Please note that the photos above are artistic renderings for reference purposes, and your specific unit might have a slightly different layout. Please note the maximum occupancy for the unit types as well. Once you've found a space you're interested in, click Select Room. Click Save and Continue to proceed. On this page, you'll see a sample lease and be able to view the rules and regulations for the building. Please note that your final lease will be provided to you before move-in. Once you have reviewed the documents, enter your MAC ID below and click Save and Continue. Now we're on the confirmation page. It will show you the information about your unit, the rent amount, the lease start date, and provide you a confirmation number. Please keep this number for your records. Thank you for viewing our video. If you have any questions about living at 10 Bay Graduate Residence, please contact us on our live chat.